Hello YouTube land, my name is Castlecaden and we are playing Minecraft. Today we're going to be going over a mod spotlight on something called the Craft Guide. I will leave links in the description down below and keep in mind there are going to be two links, one for Mod Loader and one for Forge. Make sure to download the correct version for your setup or else it will not work. To get started, you activate the Craft Guide using the G key. So here we have our recipe list. It is fairly comprehensive. You'll be able to actually check exactly what you want and it'll be right there. Best part of all, if you have mods that add blocks to the game, these will also be included. So, you know, it's amazing. You don't have to check random wikis. All you have to do is just check this and you'll be able to get it all done and find, you know, it's in a nice tight package. That's exactly what you want. Let's say you want to bring that even further. Let's say you want to find out all the recipes you can that have something to do with diamond. Just click on it. Pretty simple, right? You'd actually then be able to see all the inputs and outputs of something that equals a diamond. So as you can see, you can put a diamond block in and it'll equal nine diamonds. If you don't want the output like that, just remove the output right here and uh, yeah, it's no longer there. Although generally you'd want to keep that together. So just keep that in mind. So to get out of that, all you have to do is hit clear and off you go. But let's say you want to have something more than just the ones that are in the crafting table. Let's say you want recipes from the furnace. You can add and show recipes of this type as well. So if I were to scroll down, you'd see my furnace recipes in here, which is perfect for me. But let's just hide those temporarily. Let's say, okay, potions. We know that there's a bunch of potion recipes. So instead of having to disable this, and then enable this, what you could also alternatively do is show only recipes of this type. This will hide the crafting guide or the crafting table recipes temporarily. So now all that you'll be able to see, which mind you it's 741 recipes, so there's a good reason why we did this, you'll only be able to see the ones that are based off of potions, which is amazing seeing as now you can actually check to see what makes what without actually having to go to the wiki every single time. So let's say I wanted to figure out what potion I need or what potions can be created using the spider eye. Well, they're all right here, which is amazing. Again, keep in mind that using something like nether warts, it's kind of in most potions, so or is the basis of most potions, so just keep that in mind. Let's say I want to find out gunpowder. I mean, these will create your splash potions. You can now figure out exactly what you need to create what you need. Kind of fun? Let's hope so. Anyway, this is pretty much covers most of that. And to, you know, change that around again, you can just flip these up and down. If one is active, it will be opaque. If it's not, then it will be a bit transparent or translucent. So do keep that in mind. It is all right there. Let's say we wanted to set an item as lapis lazuli or, you know, whatever. When then we can actually do that. To clear it, again, do clear. Let's say you want to go through the main list, kind of as if you would in creative mode. Let's say you wanted to figure out what's with glowstone. You can do just that as well. So it's a great way to go through and actually figure out what you need in order to get what you want. And this will definitely help because you don't have to go to the Minecraft wiki so often, which is, you know, fine by a lot of people, right? And I mean, again, it shows you pretty much anything that you need related to the block that you suggested. So here you can actually see that you need pink dye, what white wool to equal, or any type of wool really, to equal the pink wool. That pretty much covers the basics of this uh, mod. I do suggest you getting it. It's one of the first mods that I download as well. It's one of the first five that I download. So I usually do, what is it, Forge, uh, Optifine, Useful Storage, this, and probably a few others. So do keep that in mind, and, you know, it's a great mod. Again, I will leave uh, the links down below, so do check those out. This has been Kestel Kading, showing you a mod spotlight on Craft Guide. It is a great mod. I suggest you grab it. And do note that this potentially also works in multiplayer, so try that out if you can. <laughs> You'll be amazed. Anyway, again, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, or mod spotlight. And uh, yeah, leave comments down below, subscribe to my channel, like the video if you love me, and until next time, guys, keep modding.